Have you ever noticed how the Caribbean region is a total mess of independent states and some territories from European countries? Well, the reason for that is obviously colonization and the historical paper of European forces during these last few centuries. The Caribbean and North America in general started to be colonized after 1493 when Columbus reached the island of San Martin. This island is an interesting place in geographical terms since it's the only place where France and the Netherlands share a border. Today we'll be exploring this topic and the history behind this fact. So, geographers of the world, welcome to the island of San Martin. The island of San Martin belongs to a group of islands called the Lesser Antilles, in the northeastern part of the Caribbean Sea. As you can see here, these islands form a chain, which starts in the Virgin Highlands and some small islands from Puerto Rico, and hence down here, Grenada, the most southern part of the Lesser Antilles. Several countries belong to this region, such as Grenada itself, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia, Dominica, Antigua and Barbuda, and St. Kitts and Nevis. Barbados here is not considered part of the region, even though it's close proximity to the chain. Besides these countries, there's also a greater amount of European territories here belonging to several countries including the United Kingdom, the USA, France and the Netherlands. Most of these islands don't have land borders on them, being completely part of the determined country, the exception being, of course, St. Martin. Shared by France and the Netherlands, the island has an incredible history, which had a great impact in today's geography. As I told you, Columbus arrived here in 1493, more precisely on the 11th day of November, with the intention to reach India through the Atlantic. He gave the name after St. Martin of Tours, since the day of the arrival was the feast day of this saint. Barely he knew he had discovered an whole new world and the impact this would have in the region for the following centuries. The island was initially in Spanish hands, but changed several times between Spain and the Dutch due to several wars and trades in the following years after its discovery. On the year of 1648, the Dutch returned to the island, only to find out that it was occupied by the French instead. They immediately signed the Treaty of Concordia, where the island should be divided in two, being the northern part for the French and the southern for the Dutch. A local story explains how the border was determined. It is believed that the inhabitants from both parts chose a walker who should walk in opposite direction, starting from the extreme of the island. These walkers were not allowed to run and the point where they meet will determine the place of the border. By logic, this will have ended up with approximately 50% for each nation. But as you can see, this is not the case. The French have around 60% of the land, while the Dutch only have 40. Back to the local story, the French and the Dutch version is not exactly the same. The French of course defend themselves proclaiming that the Dutch drank some gin before the walk as a stimulant that did not have the same effect as the one used by its walker, which opted by wine. The Dutch simply implied that the French walker run besides of walking in some parts of the race. Well, I don't know the real reason for this fact, but the truth is that today this is the border and it's been like this for almost four centuries. But, although this land size discrepancy, in terms of population the Dutch side actually surpassed the French due to the more heavily populated area. On the Dutch part, around 42,000 people live on it, while on the French side, only about 33,000. Being part of two different countries means that both parts have a capital, and probably a different status. So, what's the difference between them in this aspect? The French side is considered an overseas collectivity, which means it's actually part of the European Union. Until 2007, Saint Martin, as the French say, was part of the overseas region of Guadeloupe, but after a referendum, the locals chose in favor of the secession in order to form this overseas collectivity. While the French side is part of the EU, the same cannot be said about the Dutch side. St. Martin, as it's called in Dutch, is a constituent country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Until 2010, it was part of the Netherlands Antilles in the Caribbean, but after the dissolution of this other constituent country, composed of several territories in the region, St. Martin was born, separated from the rest. The capital of this constituent country is Philipsburg, although the population doesn't even surpass the 2,000 people. 
The city with the most population is Lower Princes Quarter, with more than 8,000 people. On the French side, the capital is Marigot, with a population of around 6,000 people. The island has a tropical savanna climate, which allows the temperature to be between 20 and 34 degrees Celsius during most of the year. This characteristic makes the island a paradise for tourists who want to appreciate the weather and take some vacations to rest. St. Martin is also known for its airport, Princess Julienne International. The position between a large hill and the sea causes some approaches really close to the beach, which provides some awesome pictures for the enthusiasts to take. Briefly, this is the history and some interesting facts about the island. It has everything I love from a great history to some geographical anomalies and interesting facts that I love to share with you. So, geographers of the world, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe and leave a like. All your support is very important. See you in the next stop, geographers of the world.